Hello, it's Angie. Oh, I hope you can see this okay. The light looks a bit iffy. Um, but I just wanted to share this um, video with you of what I made today. Um, it's for the charity auction that I've been making things for recently. Um, and it's only my second steam punk, punk project, but I really, really like it. Um, I'll just kind of move backwards a little bit so that you can see that's the, it in its entirety. Um, what I did first of all, this started off a plain blue notebook, you can see the blue there, and what I did was I rubbed it down because it was a very shiny surface, put a, a layer of gesso on it and then um, let that dry, it didn't take long, and then I um, got some steampunk papers and I got, sorry I've just realised my finger was over that then. There's, I've got a few little bits left over there. I've got the blue barrage balloons, and that's got that design on the back. Then there's some sort of cog, um, sort of cogs and diagrams, and then there's some other cogs. Um, and there was another, I think there was another different steam paper in there as well. Um, they were just some loose sheets that I bought at a craft fair. They they were part of a, um, a set, but I can't I can't remember who made that now. I think it was hunky dory. Um, what I did after that was used these bottle tops, and they're just regular metal bottle tops that you use like a beer top, um, and you buy them from um, places that sell beer make and wine making um, equipment. They're really cheap, and you can alter them really nicely. They take alcohol inks really well. So what I did was I just took, as you can say, see it spells steam and then punk down the side. I took some peel off, silver peel offs letters and coloured them in black um, permanent pen, my Sharpie pens, um, so that it stood out a little bit more. I didn't want it silver. And then I just put a little bit of that... Um, varnish all, um, all over um, just to keep them on and I did forget to say that when I ripped the papers into little pieces I attached it with this it's called decoupage finish glue and varnish for decoupage on any surface and it's great because it's a glue and a varnish it dries to a gloss finish um, so I sort of coated each piece of paper with the varnish, stuck it all on, stuck it all down, finished it all and then went over the whole lot to give it a little coat of the varnish so it's all nice and shiny. I forgot to say that, sorry. Then I die-cutted die -cut, some cogs using the Tim Holtz um, die um, and I, I cut those out of a 4x4 couple of pieces of chipboard on clearance for a pound good price for chipboard um, because they're only small pieces um, when I did the largest um, cog which is that one there I got a couple of bits of like the other cogs so the two sort of incomplete pieces put one there on the back and one there and then there was another piece that was missing the, the other half um, but it looks just as effective on the bottom there. In the middle of each cog, I don't know if you can see, there's an actual, a proper actual metal washer. Um, metal's very steampunk, so, you know, I thought that was quite good. Um, I've stuck a length, going from all the way down, a length of black chain. Just notice there's a bit, I think there's one link still needs um, glue in to get onto that. <laughs> um, and then... I found this piece of paper, see butterfly, and that's in the this paper pack. It's called oh, sorry about my finger. It's called street lace, and it's really really nice stack. <sighs> see if I can find. Oh, there you go. That's the butterfly, and what I did was I cut that out. Um. And it's quite a bright pink, as you can see. So what I did was I cut it out and then just 
got my distress ink black soot and just dabbed over with my um tool thing so it, it's still pink but it's kind of dulled down pink then the white tag that was on the same page after i'd cut the butterfly out is now here i've hot glue gun that down and this is a big massive paper clip i bought it off ebay for one penny postage free i knew it'd come in handy one day and onto that i've glued a leatherette like flower um up here i've um took a small i think they're called bulldog clips coloured it with an adirondack alcohol ink um and where are we there we go adirondack ink and um let it dry and then glued the back part to the book so you can still it's glued but you can still open like the top bit and then i've put some fibers through the top there um what else did i do after i'd done all the paper i went round the edges using tim holt's distress inks i used black soot and vintage photo just to take the whiteness off and just to make it look a bit more tatty and vintage and steampunky um so that was it really um but i say it's, it's taken me all day to do that i think a lot of the time is waiting for everything to dry between sort of layers and things so that's what it looks like as a whole project so the back's very plain it's just got a couple it's just got that butterfly and a couple of tiny pieces of cogs on the back so if anybody actually wants to use it then they, it doesn't want to be too bulky on the back thanks for watching sorry about my finger and the, the bad light Thanks for watching. Bye.